I'll show you how I made this podcast table from recycled skateboards. First, we start by selecting the skateboards we're going to use. Then we degrip them using a razor blade and a heat gun. Then we prep the skateboards by removing adhesive with a glue scraper, and then we sand off the graphics. For this build, we'll be using strips from the skateboards. This means we only use the center portion of the skateboard, so we're going to cut the nose and tail off with my miter saw. Now I cut the center portion into strips using my bandsaw. Then I lay them out in the pattern that you see here. Now I need to glue all the pieces together. So I tape the top and I transfer it to this plywood substrate. It wasn't a perfect transfer, so I ended up moving some pieces into position before the glue dried. I was happy with the final result, but I was still concerned about some of the gaps and cracks on top. So I poured epoxy on the top to fill them and make the piece more durable for further processing. I then cut the piece into two 8 inch boards so it would fit through my planer. After planing the boards, it's time to glue them to the plywood substrate. Then we glue up our aspen boards and we clamp them together. The table's really starting to take shape. It's time to add our border, so we run a biscuit joiner down the edge. This will keep everything in line as we glue it up. I cut the same groove on the border with the biscuit joiner. It's time to add the border to the table. So we insert biscuits into the groove and we check the fit. Everything is looking flush, so it's time to glue up. I made this frame out of 2x4 so I'd be able to clamp the border down without having to have 10 foot clamps. I'm also ratchet strapping the exterior of the table to make sure that the 45 degree ends are nice and flush. The border is looking nice. So once we remove our clamps, it's time to add some details. I'm adding these recycled skateboard bow ties to cover up some blemished areas. I added three recycle skateboard bow ties to the table. Afterwards, we sand it and it's ready for finish. For the finish, I'm gonna mix a one quart pour of Total Bow Epoxy Resin. I like the look of this and it adds durability. I spread the first cord out evenly, making sure to saturate the entire table. Once this layer is cured, we'll sand it and we'll be ready for our second pour.